a glassless mirror, also known as a mylar mirror, is a lightweight, shatterproof mirror that can be made inexpensively in large sizes. In this video, I'll show you how to make a glassless mirror, which is perfect for gyms, dance studios, photo shoots, and stage productions. Hi, I'm Jessica with Two Way Mirrors. Every week we bring you new lessons based off our experience manufacturing optical glass and mirrors. Hit that subscribe button to stay tuned to our latest guides. And take a moment right now to smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Unlike a standard mirror, which is heavy and expensive, a glassless mirror is light, easy to mount, and can be easily made from simple parts. I'll outline exactly what you'll need, how to use it, and I've left a complete parts list and detailed step-by-step -step instructions down below. If you're looking to avoid spending a ton of money on huge mirrors, hiring a team of bodybuilders to install them, you're going to love this video. You'll need a roll of mylar mirror film which can be stretched and pulled tight on a frame. Additional supplies that you'll need are tape, a staple gun, a heat gun, or a hair dryer. Your first step is to make a frame to the size that you'll want the mirror. I've left you links below where you can find both pre-made and custom-made frames that work great for glassless mirrors. You'll want to make sure that the frame is sturdy because it needs to be strong enough to not bow when you've applied the film. Practice makes perfect. I recommend doing this project with a small frame before attempting on a large scale. You'll learn a lot from making your first mirror. Once you get good at this, you can stretch it nearly perfectly by hand every time. Once you have your frame, stretch your film and tape the edges. Be sure to avoid staples directly into the film. Wait until you've placed your tape, which provides strength and staple through it. By affixing it with equal tension on all sides, it tightens the film to create a huge bounce mirror. Bring your heat gun to within 10 inches of the film and run it from edge to edge. The larger your source of heat, the faster you can tighten it. If you find out at the end that you have ripples in the center of your mirror, one trick is to remove certain staples and put in new ones that increase the tension slightly. You can use canvas pliers so you don't accidentally rip the film. 
A lot of people ask, what's the difference between a glassless mirror and a regular mirror? A regular mirror is of course more sturdy, which makes it perfect for applications that require constant cleaning, such as a bathroom vanity. You'll want to be careful with your Mylar mirror, not to scratch it. With proper handling, your Mylar mirror can last for years. Simply use a slightly damp, lint-free microfiber cloth to clean it. If you need any help obtaining Mylar mirror film or any type of specialty mirror, we're excited to help you on twowaymirrors.com. If you have any questions, leave a comment below or shoot us an email. Until next time, I'm Jessica and I'll be seeing you in my next video.